Hello. Due to the present situation, our controller's office is planning to conduct the continuous assessment examination one in a Moodle platform by using a special facility of Moodle where we will be asking the students a kind of descriptive questions. But these questions will be appearing to the students in a random manner so that uh, each student will be getting a unique set of questions. And uh, this will prevent them to do the kind of malpractices discussing in between them. So that way, we are planning to conduct the continuous assessment one uh, in a, uh, by using descriptive type questions and that too by using Moodle. So I would like to explain how Moodle can be used to, or it can be customized to meet this requirement. So I'm just going to the Moodle website. And uh, the first thing you have to do is you locate the course where you want to uh, conduct this kind of examination and you go to the course and there you go to this edit button on the top and you go to so in your course you locate the course in Moodle. in your course you go to this more option and there you go to the question bank so in that course you go to more options so that you can reach at the question bank and first of all you have to create a new category of questions for this purpose so i have opened categories and if you come down there is a an option add a new category and here there will be a default and let it be like that and it will be different for uh, your course so the default parent category let it be like that and here you create a new category so i name it as uh, questions for ca1 questions for ca1 and some category information if you want to have some information then uh, you can add some description about your category and you can also add a id number this is uh, important because this question bank category will be internally treated by or managed by the Moodle by using this id number and this way i add a new category so new category is added so questions for ca1 new category is added now and then uh, i am just going to the questions so when i go to the questions so if you are confused now i will show you how you can go to the questions by using the more option you can come to the area where we can edit and create categories so i just go to questions and there you can see the set of questions already available for this course and on the top of this set of questions you can see a create a new question so when you go for create a new question so far i think you might have tried only this multiple choice and there are a lot of new categories of questions added into the new version of Moodle, true or false matching short answer where we can ask the students to enter a short answer, very brief answer, and it can be evaluated automatically. All this, uh, the tutorials are available in YouTube. So if you are interested in other categories of questions, you can try. But I think as far as the controller's office instruction is concerned, now we would like to conduct the examination in a descriptive manner, especially this CA1 and CA2, since the students are away from us. And we would like to know how do they perceive how do they summarize everything so you create an essay type question so i select essay and lot more type of questions are here the fill in the blank or drag and drop these are really you can create really interesting type of questions by using these options so i just uh, i select the essay type question and then from here i go for add then when we go for adding a new question this category we need to pay extra attention because uh, if you are not selecting the category correctly, these questions will be going to some other category and you may not be able to add this to the queues where you want to add. So we have created a category for CA1. So you need to ensure that you are selecting the correct category here. Then we uh, need to give a name for this question. So I say Q1 
Q1CA1. Uh, it means the question one for CA1 or you give some name. So this is not the text for the question. This is only a name for the question where uh, Moodle will be internally manipulating by using this question name. So then uh, we type where is. So here you type the question. So that's a descriptive, uh, a descriptive type question uh, can be added here. So then uh, like this, you create a question. And when it comes to uh, this feedback and all, it is not that relevant, but this mark, what should be the mark given to this question you decide. And then when you when it comes to the response options, if you select this HTML editor, a built-in HTML editor will be available for the students where they can type. Then uh, when it comes to allow attachments, so you want your students to submit your answer for this essay type question as an attachment. You can even ask them to write on a paper and uh, later it can be uploaded. So if you want to do it like that, you say allow attachments then whether the attachments are optional or not uh, you decide then accepted file type let it be uh, any type let it be like that and finally we are saving this question so we save the question so the question is now saved so i will add one more uh, question so uh, essay type add what is uh, so you type some question that just um, adding this question so save changes then uh, again i create a new question always when you add a new question you ensure that this category is uh, is what you are expecting then So like this, you add few more questions. Few more questions like this, you add around 10 questions so that we can ask the student, we can ask Moodle to ask one or two random questions from this set of questions. So like this, you try to add as many questions are possible under a category. So this part is over. Now I am going to give a quiz. So I'm just going back to my course. So I'm going back to my course. There. I go for turn edit on. And I'm just coming to the last point. So you just go to the location where you want to add the quiz. So I just go for Qs, add. So give the name for the Qs. And also you give some, suppose you want your students to write it on a paper and submit all those kind of descriptions you write it here so whatever you want to communicate to your students you explain it here and all like other cues you decide on the timing when it should be open and what time you have to close it and how long you are going to give your students for answering the question everything you decide and uh, this is all basic cues customization and finally you save and return to the course now we have created a quiz but questions questions are not added then i select this quiz and then i go for edit quiz when i go for edit quiz when you go to add add a random question so here you select the category where from where you want the add a random question so this was the category from where we would like to bring the questions now you say you can see these three questions which i have created uh, come here 
and if i want to add three random questions now if i select three random questions from three questions there is no point in doing that but suppose you have around 20 questions and if you select uh, you make three questions three random questions it make it makes sense so like this you can decide how many random questions should be included and these kind of instructions how many questions should be there every all those instructions will be given from the office of the controllers controller of examinations so we have set, decided on number of random questions and all questions under this category will be appearing here so you go for add random questions now the random questions will be added so like this you can uh, create the quiz with the random essay type questions and finally when you when you go for so this quiz is saved then when you have such a quiz when students attempt this they will be submitting the answers either uh, as a attached document or as a descriptive answer and uh, if it is a usual quiz where we have multiple choice questions the valuation will be happening automatically and we don't have to do anything for evaluating the answers but here since it is a descriptive type we have to evaluate this manually and for that what i am doing is please observe please see this carefully i'm just opening the quiz where we want to evaluate this manually. So this quiz is open. And when you go to this edit option, there is an option like manual grading. So if you go for manual grading, then if you select this, so here uh, now there is no questions to be evaluated. Otherwise, if you go for manual grading, then all the questions which needs I need your attention for grading will be appearing here. You can grade it one by one. This is how we manage uh, quizzes with the descriptive kind of questions. So hope you will be able to do this. So please follow the instructions so that uh, we will be able to conduct the continuous assessment CA1 examination in this manner.